Hi, welcome to my video on using Stripe with PHP. This is going to be a relatively quick video. I've created this tutorial here on my website. I've included the link in the description. So essentially what you have to do is for testing you don't need a um, you can read through all this. Essentially this, this will be for creating a char a single charge, a subscription, as well as a, um, a like a customer with a secondary charge. So what you have to know is you have to be in order to create a charge um, with a live money, you have to be PCI compliant, which means you have to have a SSL certificate. That's one of the many things you have to, you know, not store data. It's just a certain data and stuff. But um, you can click here and see um, information related to the Stripe security. So what we're going to build is this essentially here, where it takes the credit card, the, the expiry date, the C, uh, CVC, and then it will submit the payment, and we're going to make the charge. We're going to be doing this by using Composer, which is a um, install man package manager for PHP. We're going to be using the Stripe PHP SDK, and then we're going to get started. Okay, so I'm going to first uh, start by using. I'm doing this all on my local host, so I'm going to be using something called MAMP. So my computer crashes. MAMP, and I'm going to hit Start Server. So I'm sending a on local host here, might be 888. There it is. Hello world. So here's my demo. All, all, all I have in this folder is an index.php file, um, and it says hello world for now. But if I refresh this, it's gone. I'm signed into my Stripe account. I can go to API and see my API keys. And so the next thing, I, first thing I have to do is install Composer. So I'm gonna open up my terminal. I'm going to navigate over to my MAMP folder, which is going to be a little bit farther. So it's in my applications. Make this a little bigger so it's easier to see. Um, and then I'm going to MAMP, HT Docs folder, I have a Stripe demo. Clear all that. So now I have my index file here. So what I'm going to have to do, I'm assuming I have Composer installed on my computer. If I don't, I can just click on this link here. It'll tell me how to install Composer. I think it's, um, this is for a Linux computer. You can probably look it up how to do it on Mac. Hopefully I have it installed. I don't actually know. And I'm just going to copy and paste this command in. Composer is not found, so I'm going to have to install it on my Mac. I quickly found this online by just simply Googling Composer install with Homebrew. Homebrew is a pack another similar thing, package render for Mac. I've included the one for Linux on the actual, in the actual tutorial, but here's the one for Mac. All you need is Homebrew. You just copy and paste this. Okay, so that's all installed. Brew update, it just installed. Run this line, which gets our PHP. So I want to use PHP 7. First instruction is literally included here. PHP 7. And then all I'll have to do is run brew install composure here. Clear that. I'm doing Brew install composure. Now, to test it out, all you have to do is get the composure dash version, and then we'll see. Now, nothing's in here. Composure dash v. Now I have composure. If I jump all the way back up, I can install my Stripe. So this is the command that I, I got from the tutorial here. So composure requires Stripe slash Stripe .php. All right, so now if you ls, you'll see um, the vendor folder. You'll see the composer.lock and composer.json. Composer.json will have this. It will look similar to this. It says 4.9 now, not 4.5. So that's all set up. So I now have the PHP SDK set installed. So now what I have to do is I don't really need my terminal window anymore because everything's installed. 
is I'm gonna I'm gonna add into this stripe into this index.html folder. I'm gonna copy it, literally copy and paste in all of this HTML code. So I'm missing two things. I'm missing the style.css file, which you can move into its own folder. Um, but I'm gonna just include it in, in the same folder. And you need to add this charge.js file. Style.css is this. No, that's the wrong file. It says, and save that. Sorry, I just did that quickly. So I saved it and closed it. And then my charge.js file is here. Copy and paste. I'll run through what this code does. And I have my own Stripe publishing publishable key here, so I'm on my Stripe account here. Um, I can find it right here under test. And I'm going to find the test key, uh, secret key, which I'll use later. This is going to be a visible key if you go to the inspect element. So what's going on is it's creating all the elements for the card, um, adding the style in. It's adding the card elements to right here. And it's adding an event to the listener, so when the, it changes, um, it checks for errors. It includes the error message if it does, and then when the form submits, essentially what it does is it creates a token, passes through. If there's an error, it stops. If not, it calls its uh, Stripe token handler, which calls the form. It puts the, the token in a hidden text box inside the form and then submits the form. So what the form's going to do is, as you can see, I've charge.php. That's the last file. This is the actual script, um, server-side script where the charge happens. So there's charge.php, and we're going to include this. This is going to be a simple charge made. So this should say require. We should put the PHP tags in. Don't really need the one on the end, but it's good to do. So it's going to charge $20 in US currency. I need to get my secret key, which is this one. OK, so now this should work, technically. I can also. I can also technically just do dot slash, just means the same folder. There's this vendor file. And we're going to do this. Um, so if I refresh my demo page, so I'm just going to open up my console here. Reference elements is not defined. Uh, Charge.js line 23. Here is the line 23, which is elements is not defined. So let's just reference where. Might be an error in the actual tutorial here. I can fix this, but it came off the Stripe website. Var elements. This is what I need. This is what the elements element is. Hopefully, this this is fixed on the actual tutorial. Um, if I refresh this, and there it is. And so, I have this giant um, credit card thing. And so, the test credit card is four two four two four two. What you do is just kind of uh, paste that three times. You can put any date in the future, so it's currently 2017. So I guess 1220 works perfectly. And then um, this is the zip code I'm assuming here. So one, two, three, and then um, which is going to be the zip code, and I can hit submit. And here, so it's created the charge object here. Um, whole bunch of crap. But if I jump back over to my stri Stripe dashboard here, not this, my Stripe dashboard, as you can see, I got a $20 charge today. I can actually look out at that uh, charge uh, here. And a $20 charge, and then essentially you can add metadata on top of that. So that's how to create a simple charge with Stripe. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to use um, a customer. And the video after that, I'm going to show you how to do subscription. Please subscribe.